I'd like to work on a project here that's currently released and come up with some new design ideas. So first I'm going to make myself a working folder. And this is where I'd like to operate. So I'll find my design. that is currently released. And we'll go ahead and use copy tree to make a copy of the assembly. Now we're not sure exactly what we want to modify currently, but there are quite a few components that are fasteners that are not allowed to be copied because I'm using um, settings in the admin tool to prevent library components from being copied. but I know that I want to make a copy of the trailer assembly and I know I'm going to work on the front end. So I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of that as well. If I knew which components I needed to change, I'd also go ahead and copy them now, but I'm, I'm not sure what they are. So for a destination folder, let's go ahead and select that new folder I just created. And I'm going to go ahead and add a prefix with my name to all of these new files and then I'll worry about a new name later. Okay, You can also choose which options you want to include drawings, simulation results, whether you want new part numbers in the cards or whether you want to do that later. I'm going to go ahead and do new part numbers later so I'm not going to worry about that and copy the project. So now if I search for Mike, I'll find my new design for my trailer assembly. And if we go to that folder, you'll see that only two files have been copied. Okay, they're currently checked out by me. And they are not yet in a workflow. So I can do anything I'd like at this point. Maybe we clear out the uh, revision value because I don't want those to have a revision value to begin. If I needed to change any descriptions, I could do that here as well. But from here, I start working in SolidWorks. Now, as mentioned, I want to work on the front end. Maybe this tongue is too long uh, and I need to work on a redesign here. So I've already uh, made a copy of this subassembly, and actually this one right here. So that one's uh, checked out. So as I start working, I can start finding, well, this component needs to be uh, a new component because I'm going to change that. That also belongs in this subassembly. So if I'm making new part numbers, I'm probably going to need to make a change to that as well. So let's start from there. I'll open this subassembly, which again, if we focus on uh, SolidWorks PDM for a moment, it's released. It's I, I can't check it out. I can't make changes to it. So I'm going to do a save as on this assembly. And let's go to uh, my working folder again. And give this a similar naming convention. Now that only changed the assembly. All these other components are still, let's uh, also, no revision on that. All these other components are still the originals, but I know I need to change this one. So as I'm working, I'm going to pull that open and do a save as on that as well. Into that same new trailer design idea folder. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and add a new part number and save that. Okay, so let's drop this down. We need this to be 1500. Let's 
looks good with this new front design. And the trailer, uh, that's better as well. We want that to be tight. So now we've updated some of the components in the assembly and the design here. Um, everything else is referencing their originals. So if I go to um, do a check-in on the trailer, it's only going to check in and update uh, my components that I've changed, my new part number, um, front end. Now, if any point I decide, ooh, that was a bad idea, and I want to re-reference one of my old designs, I still do need to check out the top level. And then I would need to replace that assembly. So I'm going to go find that original based on its name. And here's the original release design, so we'll go ahead and re-replace that. So there we go. Save and check in. And now we have a history of the two different ends. So we look at the new design, and there it is, but we get the latest. And there we go. Now if I decide that's what I want to go ahead and continue on with and put into a new project, I can use um, move tree and only move uh, the components in the current folder. So for example, if I sort by found in, the only file that's in this current folder is my new trailer assembly, and then I can move that somewhere else in the vault. If there were other components in that same folder, then I'd want to move those as well.